In this video, we'll look at practice problem 3 from experience 14. A researcher wishes to examine the relationship between years of schooling completed and number of pregnancies in young women. Her research discovers a linear relationship, and the least squares line is y hat equals 2 minus 3x, where x is the number of years of schooling completed and y is the number of pregnancies. The slope of the regression line can be interpreted in the following way. First, we need to identify the slope from the equation. The slope is the number multiplied to x. This would be, in this case, negative 3, since we see negative 3 times x showing up. You can then think of the slope as the amount of increase or decrease in the dependent variable per unit independent variable increase. Now, if the slope is negative, as it is in this case, it represents a decrease. If the slope were positive, it would represent an increase. So again, this is the amount of decrease in the y variable every time you increase x by 1. So what are x and y in this problem? Well, it says x is the number of years schooling completed. So when the amount of schooling increases by one year, notice that all the answer choices start off that way, right? when you increase x by 1, then y should decrease by negative 3. And y is the number of pregnancies, so the number of pregnancies should decrease by 3. That's the last choice is most appropriate. 